is from the College of Paramedics. Martin, uh, thanks to, uh, for your time this morning. Let, let's deal with the, the, the stress issue first. That you're hearing from uh, Gavin there, he's saying that the service is at breaking point, the paramedics are at breaking point. Is that what you hear? Very much so. And as a practicing paramedic myself, I can really sort of add testament to those words. Um, paramedics are incredibly highly professional, hardworking uh, health care providers. Um, and they have been trying to manage an ever-increasing demand on the ambulance services over the last five years. And the fact that uh, South Central has seen an increase of 20% really adds to that. But we are seeing an awful lot of problems. We're seeing more and more people use the ambulance service because they're failing to get appointments with their GP and seek health care elsewhere. And at the same time, paramedics are finding new job opportunities across the health care system, partly because of the increased interest in the ambulance service, but also because they want a more diverse work stream and they want to try and find new opportunities. So we do need to highlight it. It's great that programmes such as yourselves are really bringing this to the attention um, of the general public to try and focus our aims to try and resolve this. So if you've got such a, a stressed and uh, overworked service here, I mean, what's this mean, more importantly, for the patients? I mean, OK, fair enough, you've, you know, there's duties of cares and all that, but <laughs> we've got people here that, that need picking up from accidents on the A34 and when they've collapsed at home with a heart attack. What's that going to mean for patients? You're absolutely right, and obviously patients always do come first, and that's why all ambulance services across the UK, uh, including South Central, operate a triage system to make sure that those who are in most need of help get the help first. And obviously paramedics and their healthcare colleagues will always go above and beyond to try and do their job. However, what we must start doing is investing now in paramedic education and getting more staff out on the front line. The paramedic profession is moving to a graduate profession, so it can take up to three or four years to train a paramedic to make sure they are competent and safe. So we need to start putting in the money now. We need to start investing now to get these paramedics out on the front line for, as your colleague said earlier, before we hit breaking point. Well, South Central say that they are uh, actively recruiting 230 paramedics in the next 12 months. I is that realistic, in your opinion? Um, it's realistic that they want to. The problem we have across the UK is paramedics are not on par with other healthcare professionals. So you have someone who wants to get in healthcare, they've got an idea that they want to be a paramedic, they think they can be a good paramedic. But at the moment, paramedics are not financially supported by the NHS bursary scheme. So these people may be walking up to these courses at the university, get put off by the £9,000 a year fees, and may go off to do something else. They may train to be a nurse or a physiotherapist, all very very worthwhile, very valuable. But right now we need paramedics. So we need all the ambulance services to join up and work with the college to try and push this agenda, to try and make sure that the government and the NHS as a whole recognise the importance of investing into these staff and allow them to have financial support to study so that when you hear about services such as South Central wanting to recruit, these students are not going to be put off at the last minute. Just worth explaining that this NHS bursary and, and who's in title to it and who's not, Martin? Absolutely right. So at the moment, the majority of your healthcare professionals that you'll see in hospitals, such as physiotherapists, such as nurses, such as midwives, when they want to register onto a degree programme to study and qualify, they can apply to have their fees uh, paid for by the NHS, um, obviously, as long as they then go and continue to work within the NHS. Paramedics have never been entitled to this, and this is absolutely wrong, and we need to change that immediately to allow these students to study and to graduate and enter the workforce. The issue of pay is another one. Um, the, f from what I understand, that uh, South Central paramedics uh, start on a lower band than they would do in the east of England or in the West Midlands. So why is that the case here? There is a national scheme to make sure that comparable staff get paid the same amount of money across the UK. Um, what we have to make sure is that those it is being delivered effectively. And without knowing the intricacies of the pay scheme for South Central, I wouldn't want to start making comments on that one. But there is a national scheme. But pay is an issue, and we need to make sure that we are paying our staff to uh, do the job safely. Um, 
Obviously, though, paramedics tend, and along with their healthcare colleagues, tend to get into this work because they want to help people. But we need to make sure that we are keeping these staff. Martin, good to talk to you. Thank you uh, for your opinion this morning. Martin Berry from the College of Paramedics. Uh, uh, Martin, uh, as you hear, is a practising paramedic. What about you? If you are, uh, come on and tell us what it's like from, from your side of things, uh, life on the front line, how it works with pay. I mean, the shift system, four days on, four days off. Obviously, shifts different times a day, 12-hour days, which can sometimes extend to 13, 14 hours. What sort of impact is it having? Uh, we've had a pretty negative side of things, yet there's such a... Uh, we were hearing from Charlotte earlier, who wanted to be a paramedic and, and is training up from September. That That's what she wants to be, that's her calling, and, and nothing's going to stop her. Some very professional people trying to do a very professional job sound like they're struggling.